hi guys welcome to my channel so this is going to be a reading for the collective collective my readings are timeless so when you see them is when you're meant to hear them please don't forget to like comment share and subscribe also please don't forget to hit the post notification bell so you get alerts when my videos are posted so i'm going to pull some zodiac signs first just to see who and what we could be dealing with this reading is for everyone though but i'm just going to pull some energies so we got an aquarius out here we got a leo We also have an Aries. I'll pull some more as we go along further into the reading, but those are the energies that we're dealing with right now. All right, we got the Storm Angel, a collision of beliefs, styles, attitudes, and energies. Dress of alchemy, release your power. Okay. Seeing things clearly right now and your sensuality sexuality is beautiful okay so you're seeing things clearly right now and your sexuality sensuality is important or whatever the hell that said um the number 35 could be significant or 33 could be significant that could be your age uh or just a number that you you know resonate with collective um the number 11 the number one and the number five could be significant or important to you all right let's pull some energy from here i don't know why i'm getting like a whole lot of fire so somebody could be upset that could also be like collision of belief styles, attitudes, and energies. People coming together, maybe not mixing well properly because I'm getting like a whole lot of, like I said, fire energy with even all these cards. So collision, that means running into each other. A collision is also not really a good thing because shit gets fucked up and wrecked during a collision. So, I'm, I don't know why I'm hearing beefing right now. You could be beefing with somebody, uh, Aquarius, a Leo, or an Aries. And again, you don't have to be any one of those signs because this is a collective reading. So, this could be a, something about a courtship. So, somebody could be mad that you could be potentially dating someone else. And they could be upset about that. You could be dating somebody from work or something about work could be significant. A work relationship. Somebody could be 38 and a number four could be significant or important. So there could also be a change, a change in your relationship status, your change in your job, a change in a relationship. Alrighty. Either way, whatever it is, it's pissing somebody off. So we got passion here. That could also be why we have fire. So insane chemistry with somebody on your job or insane chemistry with somebody that you want to date or you are dating. So, um, liking each other, equality, and having fun. And then we also have a chaser here. Somebody that's chasing someone else. Somebody that could be codependent. Now, that could be the person that's upset and angry. Um, somebody in fear of being abandoned. Or somebody that has abandonment issues. Somebody that is codependent on a relationship. So, you could potentially be leaving a situation. And that could be the reason why I'm getting this fire and passion energy. So on one hand, somebody's um, totally, you know, wanting to, I'm hearing a lot of romance. But on the other hand, it's, I'm hearing, knuck if you buck, okay? So Hammer is out here. Somebody trying to sabotage something. Somebody trying to rebuild something. Somebody may be in trying to interrogate you or being re repetitive. Somebody being very persistent and somebody wants you to work on something with them. And so that could be an issue with you, especially if you're in a new relationship, new job, new situationship. You may not be with it. OK, point blank, period. And I'm hearing somebody or so beautiful. Somebody saying you're so beautiful. OK. OK, we got a, a king of pentacles energy out here. We got king of pentacles. King of Pentacles is a great leader, somebody that has a natural head for business, somebody that likes to enjoy the good life, somebody has, that has material abundance, somebody that's financially secure, somebody that has, you know, works in investments or, you know, worries about their retirement. So somebody that likes, 
nice things around them. Okay, we have a page of pentacles. And then we have a ten of wands. Again, another energy of leaving. So somebody is leaving a situation and going into a different situation. But that's really pissing somebody the fuck off. The page is the apprentice card. So going into a different job. Excuse me. Or learning something new, a different skill. Possibilities, commitments to learning something that will make money for you in the future. So a different job, a different situation that will make money for you. Something about Virginia is important or significant. And somebody saying kiss the ass, okay? So these cards are sliding down right there. Um, and then we have a ten of wands energy. So commitment and dedication, feeling way down exhausted having too many responsibilities so somebody just felt like they had to get away from the situation um they were being overwhelmed and having too many burdens maybe a big project if it was at work that might be why you ended up leaving from there because they were putting too much on you and that was not in your job description um this is about also keep pushing you're almost there maybe you need a fresh perspective so don't give up and this rewards when done uh what is that um, giving up is not an option. So we got a king of pentacles that's changing either careers or changing partnerships with someone. And partnerships could be uh, on a job or in a love life relationship. So changing, just a change happening and there is a change there. That didn't, that didn't come out, but that, that Knight of Wands card is trying to make itself uh, very relevant, very uh, aware, making you aware of it. So somebody that's adventurous, a risk taker, somebody that's focused on op new opportunities. But I'm hearing like this person is like, um, I'm hearing they scared. For <laughs> They said they scared. And it's okay because it's different. It's a change in something that you were not you normally used to. So Ace of Pentacles, making itself aware, divine gifts of abundance. So new money, divine gifts of, of abundance in all areas of your life, material security, manifestation of your goals, new talents being revealed. So new talents, new skills, new money, because literally we've been, been talking about that already. So something that's different than what you've been doing. Something different, definitely in your job, something different in your love life. And I'm hearing where there was no passion, now acquiring passion, acquiring a taste. Okay. <laughs> okay. So somebody went and bougie and now they bougie. <laughs> now I'm hearing an acquired taste. Okay. So you could be an acquired taste. All right. You're not for everybody. All right. Let me see the type of energies we got out here. Okay, we got Aquarius, Leo, and Aries on the table. Let's see what other energies might come out right now. Okay, we got a Virgo. <laughs> Apparently, somebody is an acquired taste. All right, I like it. And then I'm going to pick them up, and then I'll redo it again at the end. Okay, and a Scorpio. So, oh, let me make it even. So we got Aquarius, Leo, Virgo, Aries, Scorpio. I'm going to get one more card, then I'm going to put them all back, and then I'll redo it again at the end, okay? Collective, so then that way, that could be you or somebody you're dealing with, all right? And a Taurus here. So we got Aquarius, Leo, Virgo, Aries, Scorpio, and again, still more. It looks like very passionate, very loving. We got the pink over here, so in love. Seduction is what I'm getting with Virgo being there. Okay, Taurus coming through. All right, so, because I was getting, I'm that bull, like, you know, tourists coming through, they know they that, 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 that thing, so, okay, I like it, all right, let's see what we got, the Ace of Pentacles actually did come out, um, we got a Queen of Pentacles here, so we got a King and a Queen of Pentacles, so this is definitely a match, as far as the energy is concerned, let's get one more card. And then we got, look at that. So we got a match here, a new love situation. Somebody definitely leaving one situation to go to another one. 
but this is causing and creating havoc in somebody else's life because somebody don't want you with somebody else either way it's not their choice it's your choice and i don't know why i'm hearing i'm about it master p and that king of pentacles is there again in a different ass deck so king of pentacles definitely coming out for the confirmation um, divine gifts of abundance in all areas of your life, material security, manifestation of your goals, new talents, and new skills. And I keep hearing, all you got to do is grab it. All you got to do is go get it. Mm, mm, mm. Okay, I like it. Okay, so five of pentacles. Again, somebody feeling left out in the cold. If you go get this, somebody's going to be left out in the cold. You got a king of, a king of pentacles, a queen of pentacles. Queen of Pentacles is um, a, the Earth Mother figure, somebody that's very grounded, very calm, somebody that thinks about their financial future, somebody that thinks about investments, insurance, somebody, excuse me, that grows spiritually and brings th things into fruition. Um, compatible. Con that's what I keep hearing. Compatible. Compatibility. So where you were not compatible with one person, you are with another person. Um, and maybe cause I don't know why I'm being given this, there were things that you wanted to do with your past person and they kept saying, no, that won't work or no, that's not going to work or no, we can't do that. Meanwhile, your match is somewhere else. And that's why they kept saying, all you got to go do is go get it. Cause you got the four of wands here. Celebrations, marriages, partnerships, graduations, achieving your goals, obtaining balance, completion in a work life, full balanced life. Um, Achieving that, getting everything. So, King of Pentacles, Queen of Pentacles, you're almost there. Uh, keep going. It might feel hard, but you're almost there. So, change in a courtship, change in your work life. There's a change. Picking up, packing up, moving away. Moving to your match. You have met your match. So, releasing your power, a collision of beliefs and styles, attitudes, and energies. The person is going to be different than what you're used to. Seven of Cups energy, wish fulfillment. So you're almost there to your wish fulfillment, to your Four of Cups. I mean, your Four of Cups. To your Four of Wands and your Seven of Cups. Seven of Cups. Okay, let me put this up right here. Was that all the decks? One, two, three. You only got three decks out. Four. Okay. All right. So, um, you're almost there to your four of wands, seven of cups, daydreaming, wishful thinking, having too many options or indecision. So like, um, knowing what you want. So discernment is needed here. So maybe somebody is having some type of, I don't know, wishy washy ass feelings, wanting to take the old person back because there was passion, there was love, but that person just was not. They just want it as well here. Either way, so let's see what energies we got out here. So a king of pentacles on their way to uh ace ace of pentacles. We got a queen of pentacles with a uh page of pentacles energy. Page a queen of pentacles energy, a page of pentacles. So you're going to have to learn something new. So maybe the queen of pentacles is going to go where the king of pentacles is. Or you're going to learn what the king of pentacles does for money. And learn a new skill. But the queen of pentacles, that must be who it is. So they have somebody that wants to come in from out of the cold with them. Or somebody in this energy is feeling like they are being left out in the cold. Either way, so now we have Libra here. We have Virgo back out here. Confirmation Virgo. You could be potentially dealing with a Virgo or you are the Virgo. Okay. So we got Virgo cross washing. Either way, take out resonates for you. And um, also, so this reading is going to go up, but it's probably going to go up several times under several different zodiac signs, only because what I have come to learn is that if people don't see their zodiac sign attached to it, they're not going to look at it. So if the zodiac came up, it's probably going to be uploaded with that zodiac sign attached to it as well, because 
Okay, we got an Aquarius. Aquarius, were you here from the beginning? I can't remember. Either way, I'll look at the video and I'll upload it for as many people that was there. Hopefully, I don't miss anybody. If I do, then it wasn't meant. But either way, I'll try to upload it for every Zodiac sign that comes out. So, Libra, Virgo, Aquarius. I know Virgo was already there. Aquarius, I think you were there too. So, that could be confirmation for you that it's somebody that you're dealing with. And I'm going to, okay, give me one more to spin around the block. Okay, and now Sagittarius. All right, let me give you a couple of these cards. Let's see what this person wants to say or these people want to say because literally it looks like you're dealing with a couple different energies. Somebody want to have a drink. They need a red cup. And then a red cup, oh, a Scorpio could be there. Red cup vibes. Vodka, rum, gin, whiskey, or brandy. So somebody out here drinking, basically. And then somebody saying what, like what you want, what's up what uh, and and toxic that was the last the name of the last reading so these things are probably going to get together hollywood hills or arizona is important because the last one i entitled toxic i don't think i actually put up all the zodiac signs because i did the same exact thing i uploaded it for each zodiac sign that came out but i don't think that i put it there for i don't think i did it enough times so i might have to you know add the rest of them but anyway somebody saying they trying to spin a block Somebody saying no, no way, Jose, and absolutely not. Don't come nowhere near me. And somebody saying that that door is open, okay? So the door is open for you to go ahead and into whatever that situation is, that relationship is that you were trying to do. Somebody is not dating. Somebody lives in a condominium. Um, somebody saying they are powerful. Somebody drives a Dodge. Um, Somebody saying you're better off without them. Something about Chicago is significant or important. Somebody saying watch your mouth and that's the truth. Somebody's a CEO or engineer. Somebody is building a new house, new construction. Somebody definitely has a Dodge because that keeps, I keep seeing that. Um, somebody saying no new friends. And somebody saying do you miss us being together? Okay, so somebody wants you to, they want to spend a block. But somebody is in the energy of new job new house new love new relationship new 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 and they just not here for whatever the old shit is but we have a collision of beliefs lifestyles and attitudes about to happen and it almost feels like i said to me the way it was looking from the beginning with all that it was either a passion or an argument so take it how it resonates for you thank you for coming to my channel and go with god